So at first on the device, we need to download this empty manager and we need to download the feeder server. So we'll open Chrome, go here, type the releases, go here. I will recommend the latest one, but you can continue with the one more for you. Search here for some and here for this brand with. I'll go for ARM64. Get the one compatible with your device. Downloaded. The download is completed. Now we will go in empty manager. To download part and here is it we will extract it simply and for this procedure your device must have root root access and also given root permission to empty manager let me show you here here for the server I will rename it to Okay. Let's remove this for easy. You can name it any. And we will go to the root directory. Data. Okay. Then you can use any directory you want. We will copy it. After copy, we will long press it. Go to properties, click on modify the permissions. Modify, we give all the permissions. And okay, now for the rest of the processor, we will proceed on PC. So, okay, here I have my PC here. I am using Linux. You can Use Windows as well. First, I will install ADB tools. For Windows, just go and download the binaries for ADB tools and add those to your environment variables, and you should be good to go. You can find plenty of tutorials online about it. And now, I will install Python. Done. Now I will install sudo apt pip. So now, now I will install Frida. sudo apt install. Not this command. sudo pip install Frida. Done. Now we will install FIDA tools. So FIDA. This PIP command will be same, but don't use sudo in Windows. Just you're good to go. And also you can just download the Python exe and execute in Windows, and Python will be installed. Done. No. Okay, so here is my Android device. Let me zoom out. Here is my Android device. I will now connect it with USB. And USB debugging on the Android device must be turned on. So here it is connected. Keep it here. Connected. So I will type USB devices. Let's check it. Okay. Here I can see the device. Now I will type ADB shell. Now get the root permission. SU. 
okay here we can see super information on device so we'll type ls and here are the files now we will go to the directory that we place the feeder server file cd dot local m ls and here is the feeder server so we will type dot slash in windows this will be same the id processor dot reader server the file name now we will click enter and it's kind of done the feeder server should be running to test it we will open another window in terminal and type reader Wait a second. Okay. Freedom. Okay, it's running. Let's see it. So now we will get a feed script, a demo script for test. I am using this script by Epicon Packer as demo. I will hit download. And here it is downloaded. Now I will go back to the terminal window here. And now I will run it. So for running it, we will use the command reader reader u u f f. Now the package name of the application. Let's check it. I will not target this. Let's check the package name. Facebook.light and now the script. Now type L and drop the script. Here you can see. Now let's hit enter. It is working. Okay, let's try another script. The script has some errors. It is not because of Frida. Mm. We will try this SSL unpin script. Check the commands properly. Frida PSU, then type F. What the fuck is that? F and the package name of the application, then type L and the path of the script on your PC. And let's hit enter. Yeah, you can see it working. And also the device has opened the application. So okay, this is all for this video. We will meet in the next video again. So goodbye.